This chapter will focus on adding data sets to your performance dashboard. Prior to starting this tutorial, it is important to note that the business metrics must be defined first. In addition, you should be familiar with the Dashboard Designer interface. For this tutorial, we will be using the data sets from our Synatica 2010 sample project. Let's start by creating a new dashboard. There are two ways you can add a business metric to your dashboard. The first method is to drag and drop a data set onto the dashboard canvas like so. This will open up the setup wizard. Let's ignore the first property as the defaults provided by the business metric are usually appropriate. In short, you can state the number of data to be returned from the data set. The next property is interesting. If you want to have this business metric automatically refresh its data, then just check this off and specify how often it should be refreshed. We're going to leave it for this tutorial, so let's move on to by clicking next. This next step depends on the default visualization chosen by the person who created the data set. In our case, it was a grid, so you can choose which measures you'd like to see. We'd like to see all of them, so let's leave it as is. The next screen lets you choose your dimension. In short, a dimension is similar to the x-axis of a 2D chart. In our case, the dimension would be month, which is already selected. The person building the KPI would set up the dimension for you, so in most cases, you would just click on Next. There are other options to look at, but for now, let's close the wizard. Okay, let's see what this grid looks like with real data. Don't worry about how it looks now, as the grid will be explained in more detail in a subsequent tutorial. Let's get back to the designer. There is another way to add a data set to your dashboard. Before we do that, let's delete the grid. Because we know this data set has trending information, we will want to use a line or bar chart. Let's use a bar chart. First, drag and drop the bar chart onto the canvas. Next, Drag and drop the 3.3.1 data set onto the bar chart like so. This will bring up a similar wizard. Remember that the steps and settings will change depending on the visualization chosen. We've already seen this step, so let's ignore it again. Now we need to select the Y axis. In terms of business metrics, this is the value you want to measure. We're interested in revenue in our case. Click Next to continue. Now we need to select an x-axis. In terms of a business metric, it is generally your dimension. In our case, the x-axis would be the month. There are other options, but we are finished here. Let's preview the bar chart to see how it looks with real data. Well, it would be nice to compare the revenue by the expense which is stored in the same data set. To add the expense, simply follow the same steps but choose expense as your y-axis. Let's preview what it looks like now. The chart could use some formatting, but we will save that for another tutorial. You can start playing around with the other data sets available, but for now, this concludes our tutorial in adding a data set to a performance dashboard.